y'all. It's Susan and Aaron with Open Gate Realty Group here in Midlothian, Virginia. And we are here today to talk to you about potential upgrades to your home before you sell. Mm -hmm. What is really worth it and what's not? Yeah. According to a Harvard study, starting out real fancy. <laughs> In 2020, Americans spent $420 billion on remodeling. Thank you, COVID. Indeed. So we love a project and we do them all the time, potentially too much in our own homes. But that's a story for another time and let our husbands weigh in on that. Why not? <laughs> uh, there are many reasons to remodel. Today, we're gonna focus on the potential remodel prior to selling your home. When buyers walk through your home, they will keep a little checklist of all the items that they think need to be repaired or replaced, and they will factor that in For to their sure. offer and their decision to even make an offer. Yeah. The seller's job is to minimize that list. So we wanna let you know the top three projects to give you the biggest return on your investment also called ROI, or just your good old fashioned bang for the buck. All Oops. right, return on investment is broadly calculated as the ratio of dollars spent on a project to the potential increase in the sales price mm -hmm. due to that project. And it's often shown as a percentage. The higher the percentage, the better for your pocketbook. So what do you think <clears throat> is what people would say is the answer for the number one ROI on their home? I think most people are gonna say that it is kitchen and bath. They would be wrong and so would you. Yes! <laughs> the answer is hardwood floor refinishing. Okay. Yep, it's not sexy, but the math works out to a potential of 150% ROI. It's nuts. It's insane. But from a buyer's perspective, you're looking for a wow. Shiny new floors will do this. Conversely, banged up, busted floors will not show well and buyers will notice and their real estate agents will also notice. So pay attention to those floors. Second on the list takes us outside to the ROI item that I was actually most surprised by. It's your garage door. Wow. So now this applies to mostly to homes with a front or side facing garage door, but it should not be overlooked if you have a rear facing one. Mm -hmm. This one clocks in with 100% ROI. Everyone has heard about the importance of curb appeal, and this plays a major role in that. Think of like a lady in full makeup, but she forgot to put her lipstick on. You would notice. Yeah. Replacing the garage door can instantly boost the perceived value of your home. One quick Pinterest search of garage door ideas will show you that those suckers have come a long way. There yes, are some they are really good ones. Yeah. All right, a broken or janky or just ugly garage door will add to that buyer to-do list that we're trying to avoid. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the third item is another non-sexy but necessary investment, and that is your roof. Every buyer asks, how old is your roof? All of them because it's a non-issue if you've already replaced it. Yeah. Um, this is another 100% ROI. If you need a good roofer recommendation, let us know. In yeah. Richmond, we can hook you up with some great ones. And also floor refinishers and garage door companies too. We got people. We, we got do. People. All right, in case you really wanna know the top five, number four is finishing your basement. Mm -hmm. And number five is new siding. The kitchen and baths that everybody on HGTV does, those come in with only a 70% return on your investment. So usually not worth it if you're thinking of selling. If you're in your long-term home, go for it. Enjoy the heck out of those kitchens and baths. Yeah, get yeah. after it. So for the disclaimer that you knew was mm -hmm. coming, every market, every neighborhood, and every house is different. Mm -hmm. So your real estate agent is the best source for assessing your particular situation. And we're happy to help. So just let us know. Um, happy to come out and take a look and answer yeah. any questions that you have on the improvements before you put something on the market. If you're interested in the full report and love the math and numbers, just let us know. And we can send you the link to the National Association of Realtors 2022 Remodeling Impact Report. How annoying is my nerdiness? Are we over it yet? So, I am. Okay, yeah. I'll tone it down. So we hope this give you an idea and a little insight on info on how to prepare your home for sale. Thanks as always for hanging out with us today. And as the kids say, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Right. Bye, Bye, guys. guys.